Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nugget21. Welcome back to Let's Play Boulder's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Last time, <coughs> we escaped the underground uh, asylum maze that is Spellhold and gained control of the Slayer form. Hooray! We can now turn to a bloodthirsty monster at will, but the minus direct can take part of your reputation. Hooray! Now, thanks to this pirate scumbag, Simeon. We are now being attacked by Gith Yankee, because we now possess a silver blade. Or the very least, a piece of a silver blade. Fan bloody tastic. As you may have noticed, I also did some uh, slight inventory rearranging because, well, I don't like dropping shit if I don't have to. So, let's take care of these Gith Yankee scumbags. Ship shakes, it sounds like sure about to break apart. Abandon it! Prepare to abandon ship, she takes on water! No, I gotta board us! The ship is doomed! Ready yourselves for the water! This would be my cue to leave. Farewell, Vash, good luck! Oh, you son of a. Back to the ship! Son of a bitch! Oh, great, now we have to deal with Fishman. The ship lurches, and the ongoing battle is soon the least of your worries. The entire vessel quickly lists to one side as the cargo below decks violently shifts. There is no chance to make for a lifeboat, and you are thrown overboard, left gasping for air in an undertow you cannot escape. Pressure builds, and you are pulled deep, and you wonder if your last sight will be the disappearing Saman Haverian fleeing through some magical means, saving his own skin, as always. Great, we ran, we ran, yeah, we, we ran into Jack Sparrow. And of course, like an idiot, we trusted him, and now we're in deep shit. Well, Saman Haverian, next time we meet, you're getting a blade through your stomach. And now we're thin we're we're in a Sawagan temple. I wonder if I should have stuck with the drow. I probably should have stuck with the drow. Cause those I can kill. We can't really breathe underwater, so this is gonna be a fun adventure. Fast Suri, fast. I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to speak in Aquan. So, I'm gonna go with whatever. Sure, eh? I know these creatures from the Underdog. Swagan, Sharkman. I honestly did not have much contact with them. However, I do not know their language. Thanks, Viconia! Eh, sorry, not reality and asuk frelatus. I have no idea what's going on. So can it understand me now, High Priestess? It must be able to understand. The king awaits! I heard you the first time, Frelatus. And yes, I've called on Sakala to grab these beings the ability to understand our tongue. So it understands, High Priestess, is it? Dangerous to us? Shall we be forced to call it? Uh, the surface beings are fighting the ways for us. But they are quite intelligent. You can, I'm sure, speak to the creatures directly. Then you can certainly start by telling us how we came to be here, strange ones. And I'll warn you now that this spell has no intention of being colored again by you or anyone. My apologies. Captain Feraltis performs well as a protector of our Shark Father's Temple, but has little experience with your kind. I am sure this one must come as a shock to you after your recent harrowing experience. You must brace yourselves, soft ones, for your journeys get no easier. Hi, Priestess. We must take the surface beings before the king. He commands it. In time for Atis, allow them to regain their bearings and discover why I brought them here. Otherwise, they may resort to hostilities. No. No, that must not be allowed. Indeed. Sakala has spoken of these ones to us, so let's not treat them as prisoners for the banquet table. Let's instead make them welcome. 
I shall introduce myself to you. I am Sutanili, Royal High Priestess of Sukala, and you are in the City of Caverns, one of our most ancient places. You are fortunate surface dwellers. In the normal course of things, creatures captured from the Sunlands will be dinner for our plate. This once, however, is different. Sekala has whole told of your coming in an ancient prophecy, and I have scribed that you are the whom the Shark Father speaks of. The most exalted king, Ixrethikal, calls for the presence of the prophesized ones now, but there is time for you to ask questions if you have the desire. What is this prophecy you speak of? Ah, yes, the prophecy. Sekala visited the city caverns long ago. All raised their arms in rejoicing as the great shark songs filled our hearts. Oh, the time of troubles. Ha, <coughs> ah, iced tea. With a hint of coffee, because I did not clean out the straw in this goddamn cup right. Iced tea. In the back ass end of winter, I am insane. Ah, I didn't feel like drinking coffee flavored water today, so I'd rather drink some tea. Sekala said these surface dwellers would be all that stood between the city of caverns destru and destruction, and we do well to watch for them. We, Sagan, as you call us, have watched and waited from our temples here in the city. The signs have come, surface man, and now you are here. You have come, and the city of caverns does indeed stand on the brink of destruction. You will save us, as Sekala has promised. Most sacred Sentinel, the most exalted one will wait no longer. We must bring the surface beings to him quickly, lest we be punished. The most honored Exatica will not punish us good for Talus, but we must hurry lest Tilzaxis convinces the king of her views in my absence. So, surface man, you have heard me tell the prophecy in your role in it. Will you see the king of Sohaga to hear more, or will you struggle? I will go voluntarily for now. Good. Gather free Altis. We shall now proceed to the royal chambers. Lead us. At most one second one. I shall also bring the equipment collector from the second ship. They passed the test. They may have any of the things that I found. Great. We are here, most honorable Ix of the Toma. At your command. Oh, great. They had the fucking Aztec pronunciations. This is gonna be fun for my English language to speak. Oh, I'm gonna butcher these names. And these. <laughs> these are the strange creatures from the surface. <laughs> These are the ones you claim the mighty Sekola has promised us? Yeah, most honorable. We the mother here is what I believe they refer to as an elf. It seems most most strange they have no scales! Look how small and puny their teeth are. Boo too has small teeth compared to fishmen, but they hair just the same when they latch onto the eyes, yes sir! You must kill it, most exalted one. They should not have remained alive. You must kill them. You sacrifice them to the Shark Father. Uh, so you keep telling me, Baron Thilkasil. Shall we turn away and give to Sakala? Do you think then? The surface creatures are not set by Sakala, most exalted. Exalted Kal. They are not the ones spoken of as the Shark Father's prophecy. Oh, for love of fuck. I am going to smack the living shit out of that stupid dog. Oh my god, it's not one thing, it's another. It's just fucking Monday curse. Ugh. I suffer through a caffeine induced headache until I drank some coffee in the morning. That's always fun. Mom's computer's Linux operating system is now kaput. That's fun, gotta have to reinstall that, but I don't have the install CD or USB key, so that's fucked. Um, let's see. Ginger keeps trying to take all my shoe, take my shoes, and won't leave me the alone for more than thirty fucking minutes. Ugh. And I can't keep my door shut because she'll whine and cry and scratch at my door until I open it. Ugh. Thanks, bro. You're an asshole. Give me a fucking puppy that has abandonment issues. Great. Ugh. Oh, whatever. Where were, where was I? Oh, yeah. Taking care of shark people. They are nothing more than superfluous beasts that fall into our trap. We should sacrifice them and feast upon their meat. Oh. 
No, most horrible. It's the cold cow. The science we're clearly seen. All has come to pass as Sakula has foretold. Not all signs have come, Sentinelli. I do not see what I wish to see. For fuck's sake! Every single goddamn motherfucking. Who's called? Shut up, you fucking stupid motherfucking telemarketers! And if you're not telemarketers, you're probably people that have to do with fucking politics and I don't want to talk to your stupid asses. Fuck off. <sighs> Anyone else want to throw interruptions in my face today? Anyone else? Cue a sudden power outage. Okay, I did not dent the wrath of God. Yet. With my blasphemy. Now, we're, let's try. Now, can I get back to the game that I wish to play? World, can you leave me alone for an hour? Is that too much to ask? Apparently so. I do not see what I wish to see. Till six. Really? Again? I'm really tempted to give this caller a text and message saying, fuck off. But I'm not going to do that. I only see what Sukkala has shown me in these odd saviors of the city of caverns. So, we could do this disagreement, how, do we? I priestess in the consort of my baron. Phil Askel could test the belief of my own high priestess, does she? I do, most honorable one. <sighs> she does. Is as we have been to try to tell you, Ixithokal. These creatures no more were than a meat crab meant for consumption, nothing more. No, Ixithokal, do not listen to them. They are sent by Sukkala, I swear, to refuse them is to place the city of caverns to its destruction. Oh, I shall be the judge of that good, Sentinelli. Oh, yes, I most surely shall. What do you think, Elf? Yes, you. Do you think you are more worthy than a sea crab, hmm? Do you think you are who the prophecy spoke of? Uh, it could be. I can't. will help you if I can, and able. Aha! Well done, that sounds promising. I wasn't aware we needed such help, but you never know when a tasty elf might come in handy. I don't suppose either of the most favored priestesses will change their mind. <laughs> Relinquish their position in this arbitration, perhaps? Most well, certainly not. No, most honorable Issachal Cow. Ah, uh, I didn't think so. So be it. We shall decide this with a challenge. We, although, not a challenge between our dear priestesses that we shall nothing. We wish to see if these surface beasts are truly the ones the Shark Father has spoken of, yes? So I shall offer them the chance to prove their power. Well, Elf, will you take this challenge? Will you fight a creature of my choosing, a slave from the surface, and see if you survive? Very well, I accept the challenge. Excellent, excellent. Sport for us all. Take them away, let's see what they do against our freakish surface slave. The fuck? Oh my! I know what fight. I went home, I smash fish. I smash you! Oh my! Goodbye, Etten. And the one sent to us by Sukkalor, my dad. No, most exalted is Sakai. Get up, serious. Oh, start complaining, Baron. So your high priestess lost the chance. Let's do that. There's no need to go on whining about it. Time to take her away for sacrifice. Try not to get caught in Sukkalor's teeth, Deloxius. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Uh, I see. Of course, most exalted is Sakai. Now that that little dispute is over with, perhaps we can get down to real business, eh? <laughs> Are you bitter, though, Scraggle? No, most exalted one. As long as the prophesied ones deal with the rebels, they will have served the most purpose Sekala intended. The rebels, that's right, and here I was on my coral throne forgetting about all those rebels. It was an excellent task to see that the surface dwellers on. If I may speak, most honorable one, as to the Shark Father's intentions. Ah, shit. 
Damn you, double click, you screwed me. That was Taloxius, most honorable. This is Ocal. Hmm? Oh, how disappointing. Well, I suppose you can speak then. I urge you not to listen to the Baron. He would have you destroy the rebels when there is a far greater need for them in the city of caverns. Our numbers dwindle, honorable, except the cow. You have exiled many. The hatchery is a baron, and there are too few females. In short, our bloodlines go thin. We need these rebels to join us. Add their blood to ours so that the city of caverns may grow strong again. I see what you say. Senatilio? Oh, yes, I do. We should have the rebel and his army join us, in principle. The drow and the elephants take more each year. I have no wish to retreat to the depths. But no, I'd rather have the rebel's heart. But, but my honorable thanks to God. Excellent decision, Arking. I thought you would like that, Baron, but I'm not doing it for you. The rebel will invade with his army of exiles if he isn't stopped. So it comes down to you, Sirfus. I am sure you have no wish to help a race such as us, but if you have no objection to killing a few, hunt down the rebel le leader for me, Elf. Bring me his heart and I shall reward you with great riches. We best be careful, Vash. I don't know how much I can trust this king to remember we're supposed to be rewarded not eaten, you know? Your kind does not object to sorcery. We've collected much of that as magical during our raids. You're welcome to all it all if you bring me his heart. So, what do you say to that, my Sirfus Elf chosen a suckala? Uh, who is this rebel and where would I find him? Oh, that particular one is a former rival for my position that I sent away years ago. What was his name again, my baron? Prince, uh, Villinati, exalted one. Right, Villinati. You can find the rebels outside the city. You should be no match for one as powerful as you, my little elf. Very well, I shall seek him out and return his heart for the reward you promised. Good. The less the rebels running about the better. You shall save the city and be rewarded. Everyone will be happy, except for Villanati. And then you'll be free off to go to the Underdark, if that's where you're headed. Unless you care to try the oceans again, my little elf. But off you go, chosen ones. I desire meat now, and the king always dines in private. Before you leave the city, surface beings, come to the temple and speak to me again. I can tell you things that'll make your job much easier. Yes, our priestess shall tell you how to gain access to the rebel camp. The rebels are locked away with magic, you know. Go now and destroy them. <laughs> Great! Just great. It's done. <sighs> well, shit. Oh, Vash is slow. That's annoying. Well, on the plus side, we, uh... Survive being capsized. Downside is we're now having to deal with shark men. I guess it's better than crab people. The hell? That's not right. Rebel skull. Yeah. I shall help thee. I'll be taking that cloak, thank you very much. Whoa! I think it's time we leave. This sparrow is ready to fly. Action madness. You fight! Me some I got! I am I ready? Really, what the fuck are you fighting? Go forth there, brilliance. We are overrun. Well, I'm not sure I was... Actually, what was I supposed to do? I don't have a fucking map. Let's see. So how the fuck was I supposed to know this way was to leave outside? It's like this place is small. Well, how long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? An Sister. offering for you, Sokola. Open your mighty jaws and take this, your former servant, 
as sustenance for you. We are mighty shark father. We strike without fear and without remorse. Take this gift as a measure of our power. No. Ugh, my legs are just an aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Ah, it's good you have got to see me before you left. The king has made it clear that I should instruct you as to how you may enter the prince's base. The prince's base lies far into the city. Below a chamber, two great doors. Long ago, a Sekala appeared there and slew a thousand infidels. He decreed no heretic should again enter the city and seal the doors. He placed his tooth upon the door so that we would open them. Later, the drow came. Powerful magics they stormed the city, led by a mage of great strength. He took Sukkala's two from our lax guardians with the intent of blocking pursuit. The mage built an edifice in the southwest, southwest section of the city. He was killed, but his complex remains. Sukkala's tooth is guarded somewhere within. We have little need for it. The ocean is the means of our travel, but you need it. Seek out the drow's construct, foil his guidance, obtain the key. I shall enter the drow section and obtain this key. Excellent. This brings us to the next one. You must do something for me. Our king is mad. Surely your audience with him showed you this? He is the result of poor breeding. Like his father, he has executed or exiled far too many of our kind. Our numbers are too few. Our blood too thin. We must regain what we have lost. Prince Villanati, the exile's leader outside the city, is our only hope. So they've been exiling all the strong swagging outside the city. Eventually everyone left inside with the weak. I don't see what we have to do with them, though. With the prince on the throne, we would be strong again to fight the Illithids and the Drow. I have been in contact with the rebels, and now is the time to strike. What do you say, Elf? Surely you know hold no love for our Mad King. Help us survive, lest we be swept away by the dozens of the Underdark. What do you need me to do, exactly? I only ask that you talk with Prince Villanati, that is all. Listen to what he has to offer and decide what you shall do. I will give you an orb that rebels will recognize. They will bring the villain at you. That is, of course, if you agree to talk instead of kill. Very well, I agree to talk to this prince. Good, here's the orb. Keep it in possession when you leave the city of caverns. You'll be approached by an exile to be brought to the prince. I pray that you and the prince can come to agreement for the sake of all my people. Go then, and may Sekala guard you from harm. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, uh, Captain. Okay, you fucking slogging bastard. You ain't gonna give me anything. Okay. You really need to clean me. I like to we shine. <laughs> Ooh, is good. Can I sleep here? Early. Apparently, I can't. This is treated as his dungeon. Okay. I don't know why I can't just kill the Mad King and be done with it, but who cares, right? As you plan on passing at this point, Sir Self, you should be warned that this is not truly part of the city of caverns. Beyond here lies an old home back home to the Blackened Elves, with traps enough to send any of the belly of the Shark Father at your own risk. Unfortunately for us, we actually need to go this way. And of course, Vash, being the brave motherfucker that he is, is. Decides to charge him like a madman. Hello, sword spiders and ender caps. Would actually help if I could actually put on the enemy to attack. Now to do the laborious task of having Emwyn search through everything. Actually, okay, that's the rules. What is this cloak? Clear cloak of mirroring. Deflects all spell damage. Oh. Um. Yes, please. I want that. Thank you, game. For being kind to me and giving me the <laughs> one of the best cloaks in the entire fucking game. This includes offensive spells like magic missile, but not disabling non-damage spells such as whole person. Well, I wonder if that can also work on uh, higher level spells like 
nine, eight, seven. And epic level spells. Who needs a cloak? Minsk, you need a cloak. Here, have immunity to electricity. I will gladly take spell reflection over anything else. Well, technically it's protection from magic, but you get the point, right? Eh, I don't really need a magic resistance of five if I'm able to reflect everything, but Name. good to go. I'll take what I can get. And we're gonna have Imwin slowly move up because she does not have fine traps at over a hundred, which is annoying. It's like Durlak's tower all over again. At this rate, I'm gonna drink this fucking 32 ounce bottle of tea. Ready and right you are. The Hello, I'm Bone Golem. Why would you attack Imowen? She has done nothing to you. Wait a minute. I have a better bow for you. What am I doing? There we go, the Tegan bow. I'm like, why are you using that, you piece of junk? You got something a lot better. Probably being paranoid for nothing. Nope. I wasn't. Fuck you, chain lightning trap. I wonder how the drow look in this game. Probably like Viconia. Oh, imps. Woohoo! Someone has come up to play at last. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, play with us now. And not that stodgy overgrown fish king. Yeah, that old fish king. Phew! No sense of humor. None, but now, <laughs> you big peoples want the uh, treasure, right? Big peoples always want the drow's treasures, yes. You're gonna have the drow's treasures. Oh yes, but you have to play our game first. <laughs> you have to play our game. What say you big people? You want the treasure? You want to play our game, yes? Alright, I'll play your game. The big peoples will play our game. Hooray! 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 Okay, big peoples, this is how our game will go. There is five chests here and nothing in them. In front of each empty chest, a famous big people will appear. Famous big people. Oh yes, powerful, famous big people. Each famous big people will give you a gift that belongs to another famous big people. And they will hint to you what gifts belong to them. If you think you know which famous big people a gift belongs to, you put it in the empty chest behind them. Yes, very simple. Once you place all five gifts, you come and ask us. If you're wrong, we laugh at you. If you're right, we open the six chef, you can laugh at the nasty, nasty, nasty. Lots of fun. Okay, we start now. Oh, good yeah, God. We have such stories amongst this is gonna blow ball. Being underground is just okay, I recognize two of these people right off the... Okay. I recognize two of these people right off the bat. Elminster, there's Dritz the Drow. I don't know who I don't know who Perigion is. I lose Strel. Kelvin. Okay, so I know three of these guys. The other two I don't really know very well. Time to move? Okay, well first things no first, problem, let's get rid of these traps. Okay, who has the most inventory space? Mints, you have enough for this. Okay, so we talk to each person, get a gift, then place it in the right chest. This should be easy enough. Let's talk to Elminster first. Swords, not words! Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. I will aside. not interfere in your destiny. 
I am El Mister. You know me, friends. The oldest wizard to have locked this land. In my heart, I am but an old man, and I will cry an item. Well, it's time. Anyway, away time sand. I give to you this cursed sword. I'm too old to fight. Give it to another warrior whose skin is black as night. Well, that's real specific. You give me a scimitar. And tell me to give it to someone who's black as night. I wonder who the other person here that uses a scimitar is. Yes, yes, you have my attention. I am Dritz, a drow who left my hated home below to become a true hero. Hero true. I require something which I have vanquished many. One of two. There's two swords. I give you a helmet here, a symbol, so I am told, of rulership on the surface line of the city far north and cold. Okay, so he gives me a helmet for a ruler of the north. So I'm assuming you were a lord of Neverwinter. Well, this is easy, Dritz. Have this scimitar. What about you, Peregion? Hey! I am Peregion. Paladin of Tears Faith and the open lord of my northern land, if you will, place the symbol of my rule within my hand. I give to you this staff of darkest hue, which has faced many an evil foe. It's not mine, but I tell you now, it belongs to one I know. So you give me a black staff. I wonder who this could be? Kelvin Blackstaff or Runson, perhaps? I am Kelvin, wizard of great power, one of the rulers of the finest cities of the north. Oh, Waterdeep. I need the item that supplies my fondest name, an extra leg as I walk forth. I give you this pendant of silver, for it belongs to another. Place it around the neck of one who is a sister, but not mother. Okay, well. You get the staff. Uh, what about you? Hello there. I am Alurstia, a daughter of Mistra 107. Lady of the Moon gave me my symbol of the sword, bequeathed by my mother from her home in heaven. I give you this pipe of root and magic, his power is strong, I will not lie, bequeath it to a man instead, one older than even I. Why do you have Elminster's pipe? Ho 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 ho! Oh! Why is there a beholder here? Why is there a beholder over here? Minsk? Uh... Minsk? Minsk, where'd you go? Great. Minsk is... somewhere in the ether. And I can't access his inventory until he comes back. Great. So we're gonna have to sit here for a few minutes. I should probably prepare for that beholder to come be an absolute bitch fuck. Shield of Baldurin. Yes, a bit of trust is for the foolish. And the dead. dead. And when you're supposed to detect traps. Ugh. Okay, so Minsk is literally over here somewhere. I'll help however I can. Uh the spell magic. There we go. Minsk and 
Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Oh, you got it all right. You did. You outsmarted us, but good. Ah, is the game's over already? Okay, okay, we keeps the deal. You goes and open the last chest down. We imps will save you. We get to laugh at the nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, goody! Goes and open this big meatball. Ah, you have released me. But what is this? I I cannot reach your life force. Haha, <laughs> poor nasty, nasty, nasty. You can't do anything, nasty. We protect us the big people. <sighs> no, no, I, I am too weak. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. You funny big people, so we go now. Spectator. Uh, quick save. I'm willing. Ooh, some boots. What are these? Boots of etherealness. Etherealness once per day. Where is immune to normal weapons? Spells but still may still be cast, and weapons may still be used. Duration five rounds. Um. Huh. That's actually pretty nice. What about the other thing? What's this cloak? Spirit shield plus two. No, I can't carry anymore. I oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. Damn it, Ari. Okay, we can sell the cloak of protection now. Now, let's... Uh, quick save again. So I'm fucking paranoid as fuck. I shall follow your strength. Let's talk to the spectator. Visitors! It's been some time since I have anyone but the mad little slogan to come to this place. And that was not full of riveting conversation. Ah. Uh, but I see you hesitate. No doubt you've heard of my kind before, or even met some. You call us beholders, yes? I think that's the term you use. I am but a spectator beholder, however, and not quite like the others you may have met. I am set in this place to guard one thing and one thing only. I will not attack you unless you try to touch what I got. Touch anything else you like, provided you weren't driven insane by the imps back there. What is it they exactly you got? Just the one chest behind me. You're welcome to open the others with the imps or do whatever else. I am not here to do anything about them in the sludges. I think the Swag and looted the other chest long ago. They might even put some stuff in theirs around here, though. I think I would scare off thieves. Oh, that reminds me. I promised that mad little Swag and I would make an effort to scare off intruders. So, boo. And that's about as much effort as I'm willing to put into that. <sighs> it's been a pretty lonely experience so far, you know? We're actually having a conversation with a beholder that isn't like, DIE! Uh, do you know what's in that chest you're guarding? Not a clue! I wouldn't recommend touching it though, I haven't had any real excitement in a long, long time. But I have no compulsion towards killing, you know? How'd you end up down here anyway? Hmm, I was summoned by a mad little drow who took over this part of the Swagat city a long time ago. This chest was extremely important to him, apparently. The Swagon were attacking, and he didn't want them for the chest after he died, so POOF! You know I came? Attached to a 99-year contract. Only 40 years to go. The drow wasn't much more entertaining than the Swagon, really. He smelled better, though. I don't think I'll ever be able to stomach fish again. Luck. To top it off, I got stuck with the drow's imps, too, which are bound here, but keep teleporting away from the Swagon. I s wish they would just go away. I mean, I can only play I Spy and Peekaboo so many times I'm getting tired of it, but not them. Oh no, rotten impish bastards. Uh, just how can you smell without a nose? What? You think I can't just smell because I got one well, of the big eye things going? How much do you know about magic anyway? You're almost as bad as those imps. 
<laughs> I like this guy. Uh, what's with those imps anyway? Oh, they've been here since Drow was someone who was slaughtered for 60 years before my deep imps and mad fish king for company. Is this hell? There's a chest in there that Swag had put something valuable in. I always whispered the incantation to open it. Though, like I would care. The imps figured out the incantation. I suppose they told you she didn't squish them on the spot. Not that I would be sad exactly to see them gone. Maybe I should just be on my way. You have to go, you have to go. I'll be here if you need a chat. For the next 40 years, anyway. After that, well, I got this great tomb lined up. Well, sorry, Mr. Spectator Beholder, I... Give me some direction. I hope this is... Is... Just to make sure there ain't nothing in here for me to actually take. Right? Okay. Well, Mr. Beholder, there's a slight problem here. I actually need to take your stuff. I am your destiny. I feel awaits. sorry about this, really. Warned you. Yeah, but here's the thing, Spectator. Yeah. Viconia not only has magic resistance, but she also has uh, a shield that reflects your rays back at you. I really want out of here. For mercy. Well, at least you're released from your contract. <laughs> well, I got the thing we needed, so we can leave. Okay, it's time to get out of the city. Where to go, Viconia? God, fuck it, damn it! What can I do? Anyone else yep. got his dispel magic available? No. Fuck. This is a lot Fate more exciting than any circus. Yeah, that yeah, that ain't gonna work. Son of a bitch! Give me some direction. You don't have to spell magic, son of a prick. I can't do that on fucking friendly targets. I'm waiting. Oh, can I rest? Yes, I can. That works. Done. Maze makes no sense to me, like at all. Moving on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let me fix the shield. Nope. Spell ineffective, bitch. I'm immune to magic. Suck it. And That was easy. What the hell just happened? Flame arrow. My god, these guys are weak. Tensor's transformation. Armors sharpened and raring to go. I'm pretty sure Tensor Transformation isn't very good for Vash to actually know, but who cares? It's another spell for the books. How the fuck do we get out of here? You shall not escape this place, mortals. Prepare to join us. Oh god, my throat, that hurt like a bitch. 
Poison damage, I hate you. God damn it. Come on, let's kill something now. <laughs> <sighs> Lyconia, you got the thing that's immune to immune to poison, right? That's all. Oh. Yeah, I'll switch necklaces. So I don't have to deal with this bullshit. At the very least, this way, Vicony can actually cast yeah. spells faster, so that's a plus. God damn it, I keep misclicking all over the place. I hope this is worth it. Uh, now to sit here and wait. Uh. God damn it. I hate waiting. That's the <laughs> hell is like and walking. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Party members, it would help if you actually came here and actually fought. That'd be great. A solid blow. No. Die, foul beast. I'm not gonna get a transformation scroll, am I? Oh, hey, there's more of you! Well, guess what? You're all gonna die. Really, really fucking fast. Swords, not words! Minsk goes even stands inside. Instead, we got flesh to stone. Yay, we learned it. I'm waiting. It's done. How many fucking rubber swagging are there back out here? Well, Mintz is clearing up them up real fast. Who's Lacedon? Nobody at Porin, apparently. I'm there. Let's do this. Quick and pain. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes! Yeah! yeah. I can't break. I'm stuck. Ah, it's a Why did I pick up the ring? Can you learn summon a free day? No. Give me I'm some not direction. surprised. 
Anyway, let's go kill some fucking undead, done. shall we? Gotta go this way. Okay, dickhead. Let's see how well you do against someone who's immune to poison. I'm waiting. It's probably the best left. Oh, I'm charming everybody. So the big bad dies on explosion. Okay, that's a little weird. Z zombie. Z is. Z zombie. <laughs> I carry two Your items. Let's do this quick and pain. Armored, sharpened, and live by the sword. Live a good long time. Still. Okay. What the fuck? What can I do? You sack of garbage! Ugh, I can't catch a brick with these fucking worthless pricks! Wait a minute! I'm waiting. When the AI get turned off? Oh my god! I don't know what you were expecting. What a sack full of shit! I punch. Swords, not words. I explained it so much. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Well, my thing of tea is empty. Yeah. <laughs> well, lucky for me, I'm coming up on hours, so... Can we please hit the damn things? Oh my god, fine. We'll get out of the fucking death cloud. Of course. As soon as we try to get- as soon as we get out of it, it stops. Fuck you, dickheads. Oh my. Okay, so... <coughs> I guess we gotta go this way to get out of here. I think. Nothing's practically labeled on this godforsaken map. Oh hey, more slogan! I can't break Hunstein! Have armor, sharpen, and raring to go! More dead fish. Fantastic. Okay, only one way to go. This way. Go 
for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Is that a crab statue? I care. It's a crab statue. What? Oh, excuse me. Must be done. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an hour. It's been a fun adventure, but I have to call it a day. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGuy21. This has been Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. But, uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to leave the city of Caverns, talk to some rebels, take uh, take out a Mad King, then have to traverse the Underdark to get out of here. That sounds like a shit lot of fun. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.